It bugged out for me. Okay. Mm. Have you considered to draft civs and maps one day prior to the match? We don't even know the one day prior, so no. Okay, welcome, welcome! So this is now the kind of official start of this. We are live on two platforms right now. Streaming on Twitch and another one with our first ever match of NSC5 qualification. It will be Daniel versus Mihai. Two great, great players. We already had a lame. Mihai minus one boar. Daniel stole that one and is now going for quite some aggression here at the front. That's why we have Mihai's timing so much later. On African read beds, the map that you can see at the bottom, we have a pond in the north and south corner. We also have neutral markets at those corners and we have three areas with extra resources, two gold spots and in the center lots of food and the stone. Stable play by Mihai, who is playing Fast Castle here. And I can put up the chat. Okay, that's over there. Yeah, the players paused and now we are all live. So you didn't miss any of the action. That was just the first villager that went down here in the game. Resources destroyed, as you can see. Will down and also scout down. That villager is in quite some danger. Mihai needs to micro away from this one. Indeed, that's the case. This is the cool map. Okay, hope you enjoy this. Mm. Six fish for both of them. I thought it was three deep fish, honestly. Is it six? We can we can look it up again. I th think six sounds a bit too much. Okay, what are we thinking? What is the prediction here? Mihai against Daniel. My prediction in my prediction video today was uh, six fishermen. Okay, well, it's all walled off. So you can easily go for some fish traps here. So I think that's something that we will do. Um, that's something we will see a lot here. And Mihai 3-1. Okay, I will go with the 2-3. I think Mihai will take two games and Daniel will take three. But I think it's pretty close there. Daniel sweeps? Okay. Do we have tourney specific capture age just like we had in AC4? Um, I got offered something, but the price was relatively ridiculous, so we go for a budget version. I only have one single change from NSC4 to NSC5. Uh, it is that the unique text will be displayed as well. So over here, basically this area and this area, you will see that the unique tech is researched or not. Yeah. 13 builds in queue, yeah, pretty crazy here. Not really sure what's... <laughs> uh, certainly a macro problem. Okay, now cancels them and can click up any second. Just needs some buildings and has those. That's a good addition. Yep, thank you. I think the bottom part is just really nice. Idle TC is something we can take a look at at the start. And once the game stabilizes, we can take a look at worker efficiency. Daniel, a bit shaky. For everyone who doesn't know, I have a video explaining all those overlays and all the stats here, all the numbers uh, prior to NAC4. Hello, thank you. Resource collected, resource destroyed. Relics collected. And how much gold is generated. Work efficiency in the last minute. Value of gold. APM, really low <laughs> for Daniel right now. <laughs> doesn't need to do anything. And ooh, four sheep yoinked away. Uh, conversions, worker efficiency in total, and then we went through the whole loop. Tonight's in the middle, could be absolutely brutal. Can he afford it though? Goes for one night, one scout for now, and breaks through. That's a nice opening here for Daniel. And yeah, that's a lot of exposed villagers indeed. Quite surprised that he's not going for anything really. Like, that was just a tower rush into nothing. Is he going for... It seems to be a play of Rattan behind this. Hmm. Who created the maps for NSC5? Uh, I think like eight different people. Some of them still from the original game. So, some of the studios. Some of them newer. The full list in the NSC5 Discord. Hmm. Stan is still the favorite for this matchup. Uh, it's mixed feelings. Scroll back the two minutes and you will see what people are thinking of it. 
I admire how you follow your passion and focus on competing, even though it arguably wasn't the smartest business decision. Well, there was, that's nothing to argue about. That's a long conversion. Hallelujah. What is he doing? Ah, he's constantly switching. He doesn't want to convert. He just wants to idle them. What is happening here? And Daniel just resigns? Okay, this was a weird game. This was a really weird game by Daniel. I think I have to go back in time a bit to understand what we just saw. So Daniel opened. Tower rush. Then went for the shawfish. I like that. Cast age timing, obviously, later. Then went for three towers. Nice reball by Mihai. And now some pain. Had to go for the tower here. Was really distracted. Meanwhile, obviously, Japanese economy. Crazy good behind this. And then he had the villagers so exposed at the front. No walls here. Try to go through the castle. And yeah, just got punished for it. Try to go up, build the castle here. Replace it, I believe. Or did he not? Monastery. Yeah, this is just distraction. Night around. Scout finds a kill. Hmm. And now Knight and Scout around again. And Daniel just calls the GG. This was a really weird game. And Daniel did not look like he had a clear plan on how to follow this one up. And Mihai takes a really easy 1-0 lead for him here. Has to be happy with that. And yeah, this was all distraction. Hmm. Yeah, four or five spears could have been an option. He did not have a barracks though, right? It was the plan. Tower rush into center control, into market blacksmith, and then go for rattans. Hmm. Okay, okay. It's like a solid GG plan. Hmm. Yeah, this this was a bit of an early GG call maybe as well. But he will really struggle to get map control there as well, so... Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, first remember, and we already have 100 people on the side that I'm not allowed to mention on this one here. Yeah. Um, so... Hello, people. Uh, this is going to be a LAN event, yes. And yeah, I, I re read your chat as well. Now I have it split. I had a new plugin on my OBS, so I had to switch some streams. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm a Let's bit go NAC5. overwhelmed still. Northern Crossing will be game two. Bengalis with Lithuanians. 80 seconds to go and we can cross out some civilizations. We had Japanese winning and Vietnamese losing now Bengalis and Lithuanians next and score can be updated here as well oh that's actually a text file flags and scoreboard text I did not test enough stuff but um, luckily you still will understand and bear with me Scores? So that's the score for this. OBS move to the side again. And I'm all set up. 20 seconds to go. Hmm. Graphic overlay done by Akami? No, 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 no. Production crew from NSC4. It's the same as NSC4. Like, we only exchanged the logo. Mm. Okie dokie. Now with a bit more relaxation and a bit more calmness, we can actually properly... Watch this game now. 
It will be... Northern Crossings. Comparable to Northern Isles, the map that you know. But we now have a way to get to the opponent. So land aggression might be a thing that we see more and more. Hmm. Georges are banned for the tournament. Banned for qualifier number one. We will see what the next patch brings when it comes out and then we will decide hmm. nsc5 is going to be legendary let's hope so trying to do my very best working a lot on stuff already not sleeping a lot <laughs> which is really ugly because uh, we still have a month to go is it this because of the monaspa being bugged yes that's the only reason Hmm. You aren't allowed to show interact with the second stream chat, right? No, no, I am. I'm just not allowed to mention the second platform. Yeah. Why can't Jordan play first qualifier? Um, go to my YouTube video from today. Uh, he is playing the, the the qualifier. Also, Liquipedia is a great website for you. Hmm. How will crossing affect the meta play? Well, we are here to find that out. It has to be more land play. No. Ah, Georgians. Ah, Georgians are not allowed to play in the first qualifier. That's correct. Hmm. You're allowed to mention YouTube in chat. Obviously, I, can, I am allowed to read chat. Slamble qualify copium. Uh, I would not mind it, honestly. What civilization do you prefer here? Bengalis. And it's not even close. I think they are just way better. Daniel has to play some aggression. I'm a bit surprised. Like, he knows about the cross. And he still goes for the landing. Maybe he wants to play a super fast uptime and tries to punish the fast castle. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be landing, dock here, and very early fire galleys to snipe the fish. He opened dock without a fishing ship. Ooh. Slam will lose first round to running. Probably one of the most exciting round ones to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're a solid website. It's the name. It's a liquid website. Ooh, ooh. Okay. German bias. Yeah, I think slam running will be really interesting. Yeah. How's the draft for the qualifiers, mate? Oh, what, what's your question? Doubt and build so hard, slam, Vinch Magugu, insane bracket. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the C bracket, right? The one at the bottom. Uh, that's that's the craziest one. Uh, I, that's, that's going to be a shocker. Just imagine, like, out of all those names you just mentioned, only one will make it in the first qualifier. MBL, Hart, Doubt, Sito, Vinch the five big names there i wouldn't be surprised if three out of them will make it through in total like one this bracket and two next bracket uh oh that looks like no loom boink one villager down can he block now he's trying to block that the villager can't get away 10 hp 5 hp and gets the hit off yet gets the hit off two villagers down gets out of there daniel with a nice pick off and we'll have the fire galleys out earlier this is really good for Daniel. Really good for Daniel. How oh, he's quickly hiding this one. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Hmm. Why crossing plus transport ship? Uh, because with the transport I can still scout. Otherwise it feels like a bit too random. And I think more options are better in this case. Best of five quick play edition? Yeah, feels a bit like it. Hmm. So first fishing ship in danger. And it's only one dock, so Mihai should struggle to catch up here. And it will be the second dock now here. Ay ay ay. Hmm. No loom when it's even accessible by land is sloppy. He did not expect such an early uptime, apparently. He had to scout at home. <gasps> oh get the 
Palisade went down. Oh, that's a big loss for Daniel here. Can't get his second dock up now, but gets a scout kill in return. So he can scout. Opponent can't really. Transport here to see the cross. And it's still no fish really against some fish. Even four fishing ships, not too bad. Hmm. Bengal is the worst sift to get two early wild kills against. Really? Why? Map looks like a Pokeball. Yeah, I thought about renaming it, but it just felt like it's so incredibly adjacent. Like, it's 99% the same map to Northern Isles that the name had to be similar to it as well. Northern Crossing felt very reasonable. Scout 4 HP, two kills to his name. Now moving around, would upgrade for both players. And Mihai's Fast Castle kind of cancelled. Northern Bolt? Why not? Hmm. Let's go. NAC5 hype. Ratten Yoti, thank you. Mia had resources for castle and now goes land. Yeah, but he didn't have like the buildings, right? If we think back when he reached Fuel Age, he reached it with 250 wood. So he would have had no chance to build a fire galley and both buildings. So I don't mind this. Wow, is this spotted by Mihai? Oh wow. He has town watch and the lumber camp sees this. That is sick. Hmm. That is sick. Stable now at home for Daniel. Hmm. Daniel should delete his unbuilt dock. Yeah, would we'll, we'll give him some wood back for sure. Maybe he tries to nice. make something happen with this villager in the long run. Tower denied. Mihai with a good reaction here. Don't mind this at all. NAC5. Let's go. Shut up, guy. Thank you. Hmm. Tom Watch is actually underrated? I agree. Hmm. Missed you in yesterday's GL video. Excited for NAC5? Yeah. I simply knew that I would spend... 14 days in a row, 12 hours a day. At my PC, casting the qualifiers now. That I told my girlfriend, okay, we won't see each other for two weeks. Let's spend some time together. And that was last week. And yeah. Only felt fair. That's why I didn't watch the finals even. But I obviously know the result. Will this be the quickest fire, best of five of all Wild West? <laughs> Not impossible. Although, by now it's kind of impossible. I've seen really quick best of fives. Hey Neely, can you improve the readability of the text in your draft overlay by adding a filter to the source in OBS? In German OBS you can do it by... Uh, yeah, write that to me in Discord and I can look at it. Sounds like a very reasonable suggestion. Out, resting a bit. And water lost. Still has some fish here. On fire galley chasing this. Is he shift clicking this around? Hmm. Oh, this will be trapped scouts now, no? Oh, this is one of them. Somewhat damaged. Lots of damage on them. Hmm. Okay, Mihai. That's still not a lot of water control. We'll lose this demo around as well. Oh, this could be a good demo against them, though. Oh, 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 Daniel eats an okayish one. It's not the worst ever, but they clear up now. Can he kill the dog before another fire galley comes out? Looks like it's close. It will be close, so Daniel needs to continue building fire galleys here. Oh, this is really close. 150 HP. I think killing the dog with the scouts could actually make some sense. Yeah, and even cancelled. Interesting. That means he has another dog producing. Yeah. What's Daniel's biggest weakness in AoE? Not being full-time. I think if he was full-time, he could easily be a top 12 player. But I don't think he has the time to like properly prepare everything, get into the training. Like He has a lot of speeds, micro, macro. Um... If anything, it's like 
preparing preparation. Uh, we've seen him like when he fully focuses on something, um, like during Red Bull, he had more time. Then he had really strong performance in the qualifiers. Another dock here. Interesting. Many for fish, then I would assume. Hmm. The crossing completely changes the map, right? Not completely. Right? This game could have happened similarly if we used the transporter very actively, I would think. Hmm. Fish is still very important. Yeah, map control is important. The center will stay important. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Still getting a bit debated by the stock, showing that it's a building that's being built. Mihai has to prepare some houses. Knows that two more villagers are spawning any second. Eight. Economy units behind, but that could change pretty quickly. Hmm. Uh, late game will be dominated by water? Yeah, most likely. Like, you can't go through here if there is a demo. Ooh, scouts, hello. But one spearman alone could clear those four up. Oh, another dead will. Daniel buying himself some time. Mihai just chilling, going for some repairs. Obviously, his ships are healing as well. One of the biggest advantages for Bengal is on this map. And he should be dominating this front now. And that's why you see Daniel already moving his uh, fishing ships away. Love that. Scouted here by the cavalry though and Daniel again goes for a unique unit play tries to add some lighters in the occasion hmm hmm I think Koreans with water and trust is the single best sieve for this map not impossible they are already considered to be one of the strongest without the crossing and yeah th I think they're certainly top five or Northern Isles. So maybe with the connection they m might actually... I'm not sure if they become better or worse. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if they stay in the top 5. Hmm. Yeah, all those light have lost here. That really hurts. Hmm. 900 Edo play by Mihai. Do they use stand ground? Not sure. Oh, but that's... An in more than 900 ELO play. Getting that fish, staying active with the light calf, also raiding here while walling this one off. I think this is not walled to the edge. And I'm not sure if you can fully wall this off. I know that you could in the show bench that we did, but maybe we change this? I think this is not fully wallable. You can wall it off? Okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. You can wall with docks? Yeah, but that's not what he's aiming for. Like, it's only stone walls right now, and that's going to be more dead villagers here. Ay, 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 ay. Daniel's just so active. But all the fish went down. Only six fishing ships left. So for Daniel. Can't be too unhappy with those, though. And that's some dead wills here. Water will stay very relevant. And yeah, we won't even see <laughs> if you can go through or not. Or maybe we can. Uh, that's still open though. And Daniel, enough stone for the castle. How aggressively can he build it? Monks are there for the defense, so a small amount of lighters won't do too much. Hmm. Daniel looking strong on our way for 3 0 here. Uh, you are a bit confused, my friend. And those scouts, they have so little HP and got 6 kills regardless. Now we're running to a spearman though. So the three strong scouts are still alive. And castle being blocked by villagers. Oh, this is tense. Spearmen around. Three scouts. Make it six scouts soon. So be light care focusing on that one. Spearman could be an option. And that's what he's doing now. No losses at all. And now those villagers won't have an easy task. I don't think this tower will go up. Oh, this is very optimistic by Mihai. I think the castle is going to go up and those are some dead villagers here. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Yeah, the tower won't deny this. I think it is a bit late. Villagers needed to attack this a bit earlier. Maybe it could have pulled them. 
a bit quicker there earlier. Maybe an earlier light cap conversion could have helped out as well. And Daniel, now in a really solid spot, will get wood control, will get stone control. And that should be a lot of dead villagers. I would be surprised if they can run the castle. Still at 98%, but will finish with a solid 8 villagers still alive. How many kills can Daniel get out of this one? He's heavily behind in worker still. Look at that. He's six workers behind. But still got some kills. That castle alone got three kills already. And is now going for the lightest production. And what is he gaining? Double gold. We still have a full gold spot over here. Plus, obviously, middle could be landed. And just one single stone wall. <laughs> just completely changed the narrative of the game here. No more dogs trying to go for more fish. Not going to too easy, easy though. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen life in Castle Denied by Tannic Tower if you don't also have army advantage. Okay. Um, actually, Draken, <laughs> the one in the chat, did it against me. Uh, I think it was on stream, right? I'm pretty sure it was on stream, so I can talk about it. Land uh, Nomad. Tried to build a castle in his face. He built two defensive towers. And I lost 25 builds or something. And the game was over at minute 18. <clears throat> yeah, build fight helps out. And the tower needs to be started basically very, very early. Mm. <clears throat> yes, but I'm too good. Okay, okay. I, I, I can see that. That's true. Well, maybe for someone that is not as strong as Draken, towers are basically useless, yeah. yeah. Mm. If you can deny the castle with a tower, it's such a useful advantage. Yeah, people are using it incorrectly, though. I think they're building it too late, most of the time. Like, the moment they start the castle, you kind of need to build them. You kind of want to have two towers as well. Saruman already knew the way. But who is as strong as Draken? I don't know. Wouldn't be... I don't know anyone. Maybe Valas. We will find out. Yeah, and Daniel won't do much here. Double castle. Hmm. Might can find some kills. It's also a will number thing. If your opponent sends 10 builds plus to build a castle, one tower never denies that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless it's a bomber tower. Now that's something we have never seen, right? 40 C play soon by Daniel. While Mihai sits at 3. Not much else happening. 20 worker lead here. Idle TC for Daniel. Oh, he's imping. Daniel is imping this. Interesting. So builds the TC mainly to get 100 food or what? Hmm. Farm count is not pretty. Fishing ship count at 2. Hmm. Ah, 50 C even. True. Has one over here. Yeah, this will be an Imperial Age with very weak economy. Hmm. Don't think I like this. Hmm. Especially, like, what is he really able to kill? Yeah, he gets the castle, gets a lid off ground. But the traps can't move further than this area here, I would think. Hmm. It's the MTC. It's are being sent away. Hmm. Don't give the devs some ideas. Next save has bombard towers and castle age. Why not? Hmm. Why isn't Mihai going for fish boom, although he has water control? Yeah, he built a dock here that got denied or something. Obviously, relatively speaking, fishing ships are worse in castle age than in Feudal Age and Dark Age, right? Because you have extra TCs that can build villages. And in Dark Age, they're just so crazy good because you basically add yourself another town center. And that's why you always want to fish like in Dark Age if you have the, the chance to do it. 
This will be like a really tight area to move his traps around. This will be really ugly. Like traps here and then... Well. Also castle here could have been an option for Daniel to put on some pressure, but not really happening. Hmm. How can Mihai deny castles in castle when Daniel has traps and many castles? Well, he has to go imp himself. He could obviously go for like Monk plus Elephant Rams. But he simply has to rely on his way better economy. Like you see resource collected. Mihai will have like 30 when Daniel has like 26, 25. He just needs to make that one count. But yeah, he has to accept, okay, this will be a lot of area gone. Evacuating those farms already. Sends more stuff to the center. Actually lands on the other side. Oh, he will build an aggressive castle. Will he? With six builds, three monks? Oh, I'm not sure. Is that really the play? Huh? Feels like Mihai thinks it is. Conversion now and yeah, that I think won't really happen. Tries to convert himself some villagers here, apparently. No atonement from either player. And yeah, deleting makes lots of sense. Oh, that's a dead monk, though. This is about to get chaotic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still not using. And killing this TC before imp also means you're kind of killing two villagers. Hmm. Want to see Dromans? Yeah, neither Sif has Dromans here, right? I wouldn't be surprised if we see Dromans a lot on this map. Byzantines considered to be one of the strongest civilizations on this map. Oh, that's an ambitious trap. <laughs> I'm a bit surprised by this. Monastery with two relics. Could move or should, maybe should have moved those around a bit earlier. Conversion here could come in. Light is running away. Goes for that town center. Actually, if he fully committed on that town center, he could have gotten the MTC. But yeah, that's an ugly castle now. But defensive castle should trap this one quite easily. Hey. And Hi. those are some dead builds. Repairs coming in. And those three castles. Combined five kills. Not too impressive. Masonry, love it. Defensive castle here. Maybe more villagers for the center, an option. Now goes for some... Ratha here. Tries to rest this area. Monks around as well. Center control, Mia can spam monks for days. Well, he has lost all this gold, right? So that's a swing of 14,000 gold. So I don't really agree with that. If it was like a completely... Both split islands and then me I had the extra gold. I could see that, yeah. But just think about the center has 9,000 gold. So it's not like a major, major difference. And this one, he still has 4,000 gold left as well. Hi. But yeah, getting some more relics. Then he needs light calf. Well, 12 on food. Going to be a really tough task for him. More than 60 population behind now. Another aggressive castle here by Daniel. Hoi, yo, 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 yo. By the way, we will have a long, long day of matches today. We will have... After this, Nikov's games, Capoch's game. Then I will play against freaking Andy in a tournament, quarterfinals. And we'll finish off the night with... Check Wikipedia nearly. Another match. So, going to be a 10-hour, 11-hour stream today. If you feel like it. I think Mihai can easily reclaim his island. Well, let's see. Needs a lot of monks. Must not send in one monk. Must wait for some more for sure. Now we see the stable. Maybe for some light cap. But obviously the Ratha will defend reasonably well in the melee form. MBL El Matador. Exactly. Will be the last match of the evening. Yeah. Don't think it's going to be the closest. But certainly something that I don't want to miss upset-wise. Like, especially with all those maps, I don't think MBL will take El Matador too seriously. I 
think we could see Amatador getting a win. Yeah, not unlikely. But obviously a set win will be a tough, tough task. 70 population lead now. And now the traps against the traps. There is a slight elevation here. Oh, cannon galleon added. So actually, Daniel right now has the hill advantage. Funnily enough. Some conversion here for the villagers. And those Ratha continue to find some damage against the lumber camp. Maybe could switch the target a bit. Lightcap now over here. More conversions continuing. And Ratha, yeah, they could contribute so much more. But obviously, most of the fighting is happening here right now. Still lots of repair into that castle. More conversions against those villagers. And that means no repair pretty soon. Three traps still shooting away. Mia's yes, Eco is popping off. Yeah, look at that. Now 11,000 resources ahead. Cannon Galleon tries to shoot the trap but does not reach. Or does it? Oh, wow. Actually reaches that. And Daniel therefore says, okay, I will lose that aggression. I don't really have a great economy at home. I'm looking at the score and I will have to accept that this will have to be a crazy comeback for me. If I want to not go down in the round of 48. Danny Mihai, I predicted a close set here so far. Mihai in quite convincing fashion, leading 2-0. 11,000 more resources collected. And it just felt like the forward castle didn't really pay off as much as we wanted. Um, it's just like the monk defense was there already. And then what are you transitioning into? Hmm. I think the extra cards didn't make like, too much sense either. Thank you all for your subs flying in. And we will see what we can do. Okay, right click. Uh, scale filtering. Bilinear. And that's better? Mm. Okay. Not too sure about that, but okay. Uh, we have Lithuanians losing, Bengalis winning. Hmm. Sad to hear it's sort of goodbye, but nevertheless, glad to finally join your hippo family. Welcome, welcome. 169 viewers. Nice. I think we can make this a bit bigger still. Right. Hmm. Henny Lee, are you planning to co broadcast or match the 5 with YouTube? I think that's a great idea. Yet. Yeah. Um, that's the plan. Have there ever been 10 or more players at NHC? NHC 4 at 10 players. Do you have any idea what you do career-wise after your goodbye week? Um, I have three potential jobs right now and I'm looking into more. So I have a good idea, but nothing to really talk about yet. No. No. Actually had a talk today as well. Got an offer. Mm. And I like that. Mm -hmm. Going back to poker? That's not an option. Awesome logo. Anyone who made this? AI. It's AI generated. <laughs> Just cheaper. <laughs> I had a logo made, cost me 250 euro, and then we made an AI generated that looked better. Hmm. Does AE streaming go far in resume? Some jobs don't care about resumes. In some jobs, self-employed for a lot of years. Um, 
and doing a good job there. Goes a long way, yes. So we're looking at golden legs. You all know four legs and you all know golden pit. And this is the love child of it. So let's see how players are approaching it. Seems like both players feel like, okay, this is really wallable. At least Daniel thinks so. And I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to play crossbow. While Mihai, tougher to wall on his end, but closer distance to the gold, is going a bit more into the water direction. Yeah, I still want it a bit changed. I feel like the TC of Daniel should spawn more like here. Or Mihai's TC should spawn more here. Because like Daniel's distance to the water is now significantly shorter than Mihai's. Or maybe not significantly, but it is shorter. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the quality on other platforms than Twitch might be better. Uh, obviously, Twitch chat is the more active one right now. Very nice maps. Okay, glad that you enjoyed them. We have 21 maps in total here. And this is going to be a fast castle play by Daniel. 11 on wood, 10 on wood. Pretty high number here. Ready. And yeah, obviously the full wall indicating that as well. I feel like the map isn't realistic. Okay, I stopped reading there. The groundwater from the lake should see into the golden pit. Okay, okay. Do you think it's groundwater? Hmm. Hmm. Also, Netherlands is not also not realistic. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, second lumber camp, Mihai. What is this going to be? I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to go for some aggression. Sneaking here will be tricky. Man at arms is a thing. Sends a villager out. It's really important that Daniel sees the soul. Really important. Mm. 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 See walling half the map? Yeah, quarter. Get some damage down on the scout. Oh, sneaky villager to the other side. And Daniel sees it, yeah. That was really important. Hmm. What jobs are you looking for? Uh, I'm pretty open. <laughs> the interview today is something I would have never thought of ever oh, no. doing. And I actually liked it a lot. No. Hmm. Horse, sneaky villages to the left side. That one won't yeah. achieve a lot. Hmm. Software engineering? Yeah, well, I have really low skills there, so that won't happen. And yeah, fully walled. Doc will go up at a reasonable time, though, and it feels like Daniel will be uncontested with this. Heck in love, open maps. <laughs> yeah, this one is not too open, though, my friend. Okay, fishing ship count. We are sitting at solid seven and adding more. On the other side, we're looking at five, adding more, and also the second dock plus the third dock. So economy for Mihai will be better, but castle age timing likely to be slightly better for Daniel here, I would assume. Top in the AOCs, AOE seat, why not? I feel like you would make a really good social worker, really stressful job though, I guess. Um, I will do something similar, uh, potentially, uh, going to prison and... Work as a teacher there. No, that that's something that interests me, and it's not completely ruled out by me. Nice opening from Daniel in the context of the set being full aggro. The other two games, uh, yeah, it's instantly scouted though, right? That dog is something me I should see. Hmm. Why Britain's picked here? Easy wall into crossbows and then short distance like britons suffer with mobility if you're fully walled britons are really good you know that britons are good on black forest arena yeah prison streams unlikely hmm. teaching aoe no not teaching aoe because i'll clip the point where nearly said prison prison 
Me had three pawns. Yeah, let's see how much. Like, that one didn't pay off yet, right? This one is contested. This one is contested. So, oh, this is actually double dock into nothing. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. He is not building any fire galleys. Oh, I'm not sure if I like this. Scout low. What a bait. Yeah, but do you bait with double dock? You force another dock. I would be surprised if he doesn't produce anything. I think he might try to use his faster castle age timing. Oh, and he loses a 40 HP villager to a 12 HP scout because of the fire galley. Yeah, and he's producing. He then wants to attack war galleys. Hmm. 300 wood bait plus the villager walking time, right? So it's like 400 resources lost there, if not more. Hmm. Yeah, did math and social science. Hmm. Mihai, is he? He's actually stopping. Hmm. Why go for this and not two range pressure? I think he might. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Britain just feels so weird with this approach. Hmm. Was the forward will doing of Mihai went back, like it's back to this wood line here. I'm pretty sure. So I'm go back. Hmm. One minute advantage for Castle Age. Yeah. So he maybe can contest. The one at the bottom is not contested. The one at the top is not contested. And this one will be for demo is really important. <laughs> this probably been asked before, sorry, but why no donation bar for NAC? Uh, what what would be the donation bar for? What is the goal? Uh, exclamation mark NAC5 support will give you all the information. I'm moving into another area of work. Now that you're leaving full-time streaming? I don't know yet. Oh, popping out here. That's a weird timing to me. Demo goes in. Guaranteed good hit. And getting quite some kills. I have no idea why he went out there. He was not forced to it out of it. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This one at least looks better for Daniel now. Doesn't have the great split though. Scout also wins against the villager here. No, it does lose. And loses the 2v1 battle here. Ay, 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 ay. Daniel, this is, this is not his sharpest performance. Still contesting this area though. Let's see what he can do. War galley upgrade is later. Could have maybe added a demo himself. Didn't really happen. No villager for the repair either. But it might be two pawns against two pawns in the end. Now goes for the fish traps here. And this one... He's still contesting. Get some kills against the fishing ships. And Daniel is ahead in... Villagers. And still has some stuff here. Hmm... The job of a Dutch Prime Minister just became available. Yeah, I applied, but they told me I'm not racist enough. So, feels bad, man. Mm. Okay, full stone wall behind this now from Daniel. Interesting. Does not want to eat a lot of aggression. I think this push is like, feels so unnatural. Feels more natural that he's pushing from this area. Right, why would he push uphill? But okay. Hmm. Hmm. Also, the house, kind of the weakest point here. And we just got a donation for NAC flying in. 25 euros. Thank you. I could see you being really great in community management or PR-ish. Oh, community management, I'm absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. 
like I obviously worked okay. at Microsoft and like how things have to be phrased not to upset anyone is not my way of communicating. I'm I'm like really really bad at this. Yeah, yeah. community management PR it's like like maybe I would be good at it but I would absolutely hate it. Hmm. Hmm. Monastery now, and Danny actually goes for longbows from what it looks like. Hmm. Don't have the patience for community management. Uh, I think I would. I would, right? I was patiently enough for being an elementary school teacher and handling Twitch chat. Kind of the same, except that eventually elementary school. Uh, Pupil are learning. Hmm. Seemingly way more an analyst role, having great organization skills and being honest. Yeah, but who's paying that and for what job? This one will still be interesting. Demo around. Mia completely reclaimed that pawn, by the way. So feels pretty close. Oh, nice conversion. Hmm. <laughs> now the sec second stream chat is going like, yeah, we are superior. He didn't diss us. Uh, back to poker? No, no option. Poker did not make me happy. I enjoyed a lot of, lot of elements of poker, but I'm very glad that I'm not doing it full time. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, castle up for the defense and should easily defend this. Hmm. I was a math teacher, yeah. Math and social science. Okay, adds a second dog even here. Maybe Daniel could have sent the converted knight over there. Hmm. What's your favorite area of mathematics? Um, probabilities. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I love that the <laughs> Twitch copy pasta extended as well. Hmm. Say, so, so Botkin and. Obviously, longbows should be defending this one very easily. Yeah, pasta, pasta, uh, copy pasta meta. Hmm. I like the longbow choice here. The extra damage makes them less vulnerable to Chemkal switch. I don't think Chemkal will be too important. But yeah, adding another damage there would be nice for sure. Oh, that's what, that's dangerous against the demo. Do they have seven damage? Indeed, longbow? Thought it was only more range than HP, but didn't even know. Yeah, and Mangonauts are not achieving anything anymore here. I think going for any Castle Age units is just a massive waste. They do have one more damage? Okay, okay. But then story checks out. And Chemkal has what damage? Uh, what armor? Seven? So it's three damage instead of two, right? So that's pretty crazy. 50% more damage of a longbow compared to an obelisk. If we end up facing champ cults. Hmm. This is like, how is this one not being demoed yet? I don't get it. Okay, how's gold control looking? We have 1700 left only. Oh, this is this is not pretty for Daniel. He needs to expand here pretty soon. Obviously, this goal is reasonably close to him. Hmm. Ballistics, armor. Ready. Not sure if we need armor on the longbows. Hmm. Um, Wikipedia shows that qualifiers start from 4th of December. Yes, it is open scheduling and they could have started yesterday, but no one scheduled for yesterday. Today is the first match. Mm. 
Why are we going for this lumber camp? Didn't we just see three mangonels there? Does he not see the castle? He knows about the castle and he still builds the lumber camp. I don't get it. We barrel for Mihai, that means Faster Imperial Age for Daniel. This is risky. Being out here. This is so risky. This gives... Oh no, oh no, this is... Daniel, this is how to loot this game. If you ever wondered, I'm on the way to Imperial Age. I have the solid economy. I have a great situation on this one. My civilization scales better to Imp. How do I lose this game? Move out too early. Try to take fights uphill against units that are doing splash damage against yours. He can micro this? Yeah, he can micro this from here as well. You can build two outposts first. Would make it so much better. How frustrated is the player level with the current patch pathing? Eh, uh, very much so. Like, I'm not that mad. But... Lots of people are very frustrated. Yeah, Hera Magugu was um, very unhappy. Andy made a post today in the NAC Discord about it as well. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly here. Mangle from the side. Splits against this one. Villagers have to move. Conversions are being locked in here and needs to move away from this. One longbow converted, one died. Ooh, Mangonel pushed away. 72%. And those longboats not really getting the distance in. And now Yeoman. Ooh, another range here already in Castle Age. Mangonel from the side. Oh god, I'm so scared. Scared! Unnecessary though. Why would I be scared? Okay, now the Mangonels. I think the range difference is now at 2? Yeah. So Mangles are not adding anything anymore. Okay. And he should be able to clear up this castle and therefore generate control for the gold for him. And Mia didn't get the kills in. Oh, this could be a, a castle with lots of dead villagers. Wouldn't be surprised if like five, six wills die here. Obviously the castle will go up, but some denial is happening. But some nice dance. And we see five villagers dying. Hmm. And you have to think what's up next from my opponent. What might Mihai be transitioning into? And Daniel thinks, okay, it has to be cavalry. And that's why he's setting up the harbor attack already. Love it. Hmm. Lots of dead builds. Five to six. Well, my friend, if you're a villager and the news are reporting, five to six villagers die. Do you want that the news are saying, like, uh, some small losses that no one cares about? Or would you love to hear, like, massive tragic tragedy trying to construct castles to defend the homeland? <laughs> this will be a screenshot on Pinch uh, Twitch, uh, Twitter. Okay, what is water looking like? Not the craziest amount of fish traps. But now enough gold control. Hmm. That's what I used to do when I was 10. Yeah, this looks honestly <laughs> as if Daniel didn't age. Hmm. What do Malians do against longbows? Cavalier with Farimba or champions with all armor upgrades? Those are the two only options. But Britons are really solid in this situation now. That's why Daniel picked them, right? He had a lot of disadvantages. No proper eco bonus. Water control was tough for him. But now he should be in a very reasonable spot. Also be reminded that building on this area, the crack terrain, means that the building will take 25% more damage. For Rimba now coming in. So extra attack for his Cavaliers. Harbour attack is already being researched and this could be 17 harbour out on the field and this will be really tricky then to get into proper numbers. I like the position for Danny here. Hmm. Skirmisher edition is 
tricky in the sense that you don't have the last range and attack upgrade. So skirmishers of Malians are not a good option. Habadiers are around. Do we see anything? Is that over chopped? Is there a chance to go through? I think there might be. Cavaliers are aiming for it. That could be some dead villagers. Meanwhile, the push in the center continues, though. And I'm not sure if Mihai can really afford sending some cavaliers to the side. Feels like one big push through the center was needed. Did you get elite? I don't think so, no. Elite longbow is not that important right now. He has Bracer, he has all the ranged in the world. And yeah, this was open. Oh no, it was not open. He just opened it. And I think taking to Harbadiers was more important. Ooh, now it goes uphill here. We'll eat some conversions. Not too pretty. Hmm. And Mihai pushed away from his gold. Has very limited gold still here. 800. Do you still... Do you still stick to your predictions of Daniel advancing in this match? What, what kind of question is that? Um... I think now Mia is the favorite <laughs> to advance from this match. Hmm. Pop 200 against 170. Aiming for more stables, more barracks from Daniel. Elite Longbow Man is getting tagged. Monastery likely to die. Hmm. Casual Twitch you. Okay, okay, maybe name checks out. All good, all good. Yeah, like, obviously after... Like, <laughs> after 50% of a set or more, my prediction becomes less valid. Is there a chance NC main event gets a special hotfix for pathing if the next patch doesn't resolve? Ah, uh, yes. But don't count on it. Like for NHC4, we had like a super patch, right? Uh, new patch, pathing two patches ago, and balance one patch ago. Something like that is what we use for NHC4. This GG, no. I think Mihai wants to see if he can find a massive clear up here. Harbadiers. 2 2 upgrades. Cavaliers. Oh, they are actually benefiting from the overchop. It is still pop 200 against 200. And this should be a lot of dead villagers. Maybe a big clear up. And then tries to make an engagement here. But Harbadier numbers should not be broken that easily. And longbows. They're just chewing away. 31 kills already. I, I feel like Mihai needs to take a big engagement instead of finding the raid. This is the only option for him to really win this. Uh oh, longbows overextended though. That is not pretty. But enough Harbadiers around. I think this one will be won by Daniel on that end. Now goes to raid the fish. Finds a lot of kills here. Mihai, but this one is just unstoppable. Too many Harbadiers and there's no second unit to back it off. Champ cards might have been the option. The stronger PS armor champions of Malians. But yeah, Mihai felt like mobility would be a big problem there. And he had a lot of gold income early in POH, so I can see why that was not one of his main concerns. Daniel puts himself on the scoreboard in an interesting game. Like the full wall up here in Dark Age, and then Mihai's push simply didn't achieve a lot. Like four Magnals, two Monks, eight Knights. And Daniel simply transitioned into the unit that he wanted to go for. Anyways, the elite longbow man. And is looking, yeah, pretty solid there with his defense. Water contest was questionable, but Daniel didn't want to sacrifice his faster castle age timing. I think pathing being resolved is super unlikely. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, why did I get messaged this much? Who, who does want stuff from me? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, people agreed that a new patch, whenever it comes out, should be used for NAC, apparently, for the qualifiers. Hmm. Interaction. We have Malians losing, Britons winning. Daniel still has strong civilizations left here. Vikings for Canberra. And Portuguese probably for Copenhagen. I could see Malay for Canberra and Bohemians for Copenhagen for Mihai. Santiago Pizzella, I yo. Copenhagen is the regicide one, and we will indeed see Copenhagen. Dale, thank you for five fifty sub. I don't understand too much, but what is the problem with pathing? Is it coding? I don't know. I don't know why we are in the state that we are in. I think I want to wear a hoodie. It's cold. Somehow cold. Can we vote for simple points uh, if there is a mod around that could maybe run it? I feel like Jordan and Doubt leveled up so much between Warlord Start and Cartographer's End. Okay. It's a very different tournament, so I'm a bit surprised. We can start this comparison. Wow! Differences than are what I would have expected. Okay, Copenhagen is the map. Give me your matchups. Do you live in Munich nearly? No, Hamburg. And I see we'll be in Berlin. Jordan lives in Munich. Uh, give me your SIF predictions. Bohemians are an option, Berbers, Malay, on the other side, Spanish, Vikings, Portuguese, Malay, Spanish, Malay, Spanish, Spanish, Malay. Hmm. Then is the number one ranked, then I see five Copenhagen play on the ladder, okay. I kind of hate how much happier and focused Jordan seems now that he's not streaming, but like, I also get how draining streaming can be. Can be. Nili, do you feel that such a large map pool favors preparation or in-game adaptability? The second one. The GR boys thought there were so many and with the Civs admin bans prep would be difficult. That's what all the GL boys think or that's just one doubt saying it? Obviously, per, like, the more variables you have, the less preparation will pay off. Yeah. Malay Portuguese. Okay. Bohemians Portuguese. Spanish Malay. Hmm. Someone who drives around internationally. The works around the Albert Tunnel seems to have been going on for five years now. Okay. Everyone felt that? Well, well, I agree with them. Okay, and no one was right when it come, came to the civilizations. Uh, we will have Mihai with Bohemians. Not a big surprise on this map. We are starting walled in and we have a castle on the other side though. Daniel 
is playing Vikings. Vikings, obviously really nice. Double dock opening here out of him. Oh boy. He wants to fish and he wants to win water here from what I see. That is interesting. Well, we see Mihai. He goes for two different pawns. We have this one at the bottom. Three relics to grab. We have also four in the center. And the big water at the top. Castle already spawning at the same spot here. And I don't like this barrack placement too much here in the castle. Uh, feels a bit off, but okay. Uh, why do we have villager difference? Oh, fishing ships already. Okay, okay, okay. Number one Copenhagen player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, Vikings, if you fast cast, your economy will be pretty strong. Hmm. Hmm. Should have problems against... A Hasside wagon push, though. Oh, what? Mihai lost the will? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And now double dock fishing ship production. Okay, this is, this is not ideal for me high here. Hmm. Two, uh, two, two masterpiece incoming. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Fish also much nearer for Daniel. Well, if you have double the dock, it's easier. But yeah, this one is basically max distance. Or this one is two, three tiles closer. Yeah. Hmm. How much HP does the king have? 75, I believe. Yep, indeed. Hmm. There is a scout on this map, as we can see on the overlay. It's healing up right now. I appreciate Daniel's rec placement from the aesthetic point of view. Very cozy. <laughs> In the woods there, right? Hmm. Okay, so... We should be expecting Fast Castle? Not really, though. Hmm. Is to spot a way to go into the opponent's wall? Yes, it is, but you obviously know the opponent has a castle there already. It's tougher to re-wall, and towers might protect them a bit more. Potential for landing some berserks just for fun. I don't think that's too fun. Hmm. I love the idea of this map. I don't like having feeding and missing a little extra wood spread around. Well, we have three major wood lines here. This one is the area where there's lots of gold to fight for, the bottom where there's lots of wood to fight for. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they are never at the coastline, the towers. We gave that a minimum distance. And it will be the galley opening here. Well, Mihai, this looks like a fast castle play to me. Builds a spearman. Wow. That's a bit of a surprise. Hmm. Casts are always spawning kind of in the corner, yeah. This one is only pushed away by the wood line. Typically, the spawn should be something like here or here. How juicy is that extra fish in the pond? It's quite juicy, as you can see. Quite a lot of food in there. And also some more shore fish. So... Mihai can't be too unhappy with this. King is faster than scouts. That is correct. Mihai won't contest this at all. Just will give up water. Maybe not too ill-advised against Vikings. Although against two fish, uh, against two galleys, he could have actually done quite a bit if he goes for two fires himself. One for defend, one for the fishing ship killed. Could have benefited from that. Do you think four fish way too much given the fact he wasn't going to fight that water? Do you think four fish was too much? Um, I think he waited for the uptime. If Daniel just played straight fast castle, it would have paid off more. No. 
transporter. Ooh, baby. Is he sending the king with the transporter into the corner of the map? <laughs> What's happening here? What is he trying to transport? By the way, one boar is still not taken. Can't lose a bill if you're not taking the boars. I think this might just be to maybe build extra docks. Hmm. I did not expect that a player is giving up the top that easily. But I also didn't really expect Vikings on this map. So, fair enough. Three scouts even on the map here for Mihai. Just to contest those relics apparently. We're just still around. Wouldn't be surprised to see a monastery and a transport here pretty soon. Should easily get to four relics then. Let me see if Daniel... We'll be able to quick wall something here. Doesn't even move properly. Okay. Now it only starts to quick wall. Didn't really happen. Scout now for the defense. Trades off some HP. More scouts running to the top. One TC added. Monastery at home though. Interesting. And scouts added for Danny as well. I didn't even see that. Wow. So four scouts on the map against two scouts on the map. That's a bit of a surprise to me. How much we are trying to contest everything here. And yeah, transporter will obviously be delayed since we have the monastery first. Line of sight upgrade and two longboats. Interesting. Light cap upgrade as well. And Daniel, well, he sits at 11 fishing ships. So he really wants to make sure that he never loses the top pond. Yeah. Why is Merrick doing scouts instead of hazard wagons? You can build scouts in feudal age. Hazard wagons not. Wanted some more map control. Wanted to get some vision. And obviously, your typical build order might be a bit screwed with all the fish that you have here at the site compared to your typical Bridgehead Fortress game, for example. No expanding might be. Oh, he sold a hundred. Oh, we're starting with red side. So we're starting with one hundred fifty stone. I forgot. Okay, so needs to collect some now. Hmm. Does the top side even have that much more fish than the bottom pond? The top side has more, but obviously we have way more fishing ships working there for a long time. So now it feels a bit more dry. I wouldn't be surprised if we see like 20 fish traps eventually out of Daniel. Oh, heavily goes into this stone. That's a bit of a surprise to me. Goes for sanctity as well. Okay, maybe wants to convert some of the longboats here. Oh, oh, landing with light calf. Okay. Hmm. I'm surprised that Daniel is not going for a second TC. Yeah. Yes and no. More no. Like he is focusing on water mainly for now. Oh, that has to be dead, Will. Sanctity obviously works for villagers, so then he jumps to 40, <laughs> but doesn't get the armor upgrade that Loom would give him typically. Shouldn't Danny contest the center pond? Eh, you can't. Vikings can only contest long distance water. That's why you never see Vikings on something like Kavasan. Or Baltic. You always see them on long distance. Like migration, islands, northern isles. Because you don't have fire galleys. one v one Fire galley wins against the galley. Fireship wins against a longboat. But 40v40. Obviously you can micro so much better. But you need some distance to move around. Okay, next town center here for Mihai goes up to three. And Daniel will follow this up with a fast Imperial Age. Look at his resources. This could be pretty interesting. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes like 10 on stone now. One castle here and trap this down. Feels not unlikely. 
This is a really interesting approach by Daniel. Oh boy, oh boy. Shouldn't Koreans be gone on this map? If you win water, you can just tower rush their main base. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think Koreans should be a top 10 civs here. Can we see conversion? Tries to get there. Could maybe get the conversion at the bottom. Was for one, still reaches it. Oh, jumps into the transporter. <laughs> Is saved here. Nice, nice. Hmm. Okay, and Imperial Age is coming in. Just surprised that we only have four in stone. Four feels like such an odd number. Like, not enough to really get something rolling. Is he playing low economy Arbalest? Wow, Siege Workshop. Hmm. Yeah, look at all those farms here for Daniel. <laughs> A true American farmer. Hmm. Vikings have sea tram? Yeah, but sea trams is completely out of the question with 36 villagers. How can he afford that? Sea tram is a 100. 10 villager plus unit. Siege is good versus wagons. Yeah, but not great against villagers or spearmen. Hmm. He wants mangonauts versus the wagons. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Are Abeles doing anything versus wagons? Well, we don't see a lot of wagons. That's why I said I thought we would see the castle very quickly. Which we aren't. We will see Drummond's here. Uh, maybe one. He does not need more. More would not give him anything. Rally count? Three for Mihai, none for Daniel. But there is one more picked off, I believe, right? And it has to be Mihai's. Is he getting a fourth relic somewhere? I don't know. Then he's now imp, and what is he doing with it? Oh, look at that. The castle, I think, maybe a bit more aggressive than it needed to be. Oh, he was there with his light cap, but backed off. Eight, two conversions. Oh, this is disastrous for him. Oh, no. And it's GG. Daniel, two conversions into GG. Oh, boy. Daniel will not qualify for NSC5. At least not in the first qualifier. And yeah, that was a strategy that did not work out too well for him. The three light cav around would have denied this castle, at least delayed it, uh, delayed it heavily. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, oh, Daniel, deleting those light cav might have been even a better option. Poof. G to the G. Hmm. Better villages for Mihai. Economy, actually pretty even. Slightly better for Mihai there as well. Hmm. 